Obama caught in Afghanistan spotlight again, four extremists Barry handed over are now leading the country. What's happening? It seems like everything Biden said about Afghanistan was wrong. First, he claimed that the Taliban would not take over. Yeah, they conquered the country in less than two weeks. Then, Biden claimed that we didn't need to worry about the Taliban. Apparently, this group of radicals has Joe's stamp of approval. That wasn't true, either. Because we are learning that the Taliban has four new leaders. And they just happen to be bad guys Obama let go. From Fox News. Four out of five Guantanamo detainees whom former President Barack Obama released, in 2014 now hold senior positions in the interim government created by the Taliban in Afghanistan. According to the Afghan television network TOL Wanus, the Taliban-formed government gave leadership positions to Kairullah Kerkwa, Narullah Nuri, Abdul Haq Wasik, and Mohammad Fazl, all of whom were released in a 2014 deal between the Obama administration and the Taliban to free Bergdahl, whom the Taliban had held as a prisoner since 2009. Isn't that nice? The Taliban appointed four criminals released by Obama to senior positions within their government. Oh, and these men just happened to be members of Al-Qaeda, the group responsible for 9-11. What did Biden say about Afghanistan being okay in the Taliban's hands? Remember, we still have Americans trapped in the country. The State Department is deliberately preventing them and our allies from leaving. Rumors spread that the Taliban wanted to hunt down those Afghans who aided the United States. Now, knowing that four of their top leaders are members of Al-Qaeda, we are all at risk. This changes the game in a big way. The Taliban is now partly made up of people who hate the United States. We already know the country has quickly become a staging ground for radicals. And they have advanced American military vehicles and gear. This is yet another black mark on Biden's presidency. If it weren't for his disastrous withdrawal, Afghanistan would still be safe. But we can't forget Obama's hand in this blunder. He let go of four enemy agents in exchange for a defector. It was an unpopular move at the time. Now, it's come back to haunt us big time.